Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded, Alien Dawn. Carter is just arriving from, if you remember last episode, I sent him and Edmund, whoa, I think Dawn just hit, off to go get the uh, uh, the carbon nanotubes mined and bring it back. Well, he just arrived. We're six in the morning. He's holding his head and he's going to get something to eat. Got his cool armor on though. The rewards of hauling all of that uh, carbon nanotubes back. And a helmet over there on Kana. And whoa, that was crazy. Paulette's got her. Yeah, little by little, we're starting to. Uh, there's Rita. She's she's she, she's wearing synthetic armor, a little different. Um, starting to get them all armored up. Not that we we're planning on throwing them into hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat, though. <clears throat> I wish I could put all that extra time into making better weapons, but we're still waiting on these guys to grow which isn't going to happen for a while we're in the middle of winter and this i'm guessing is the day of the episode that we get to test our new defensive structure so we've got two of the machine gun turrets operational we've got two of the flamethrowers operational and all of the traps let me think here why are these guys these guys are waiting to be assembled oh, okay so Rita is transporting fuel. She's going to get these guys ready to go as soon as the uh, attack is done. We'll send a couple more off. And apparently we've had some melt because we have some headless snowmen out here. <laughs> Pumayar is going to go fix that. He's going to go make his own. Carter, he's going to go make one too. <laughs> Looks like they're going to pretty much make them on top of each other here. Yeah, this is... Are we both making the same one? Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Look at that. Hmm. Let's see how this completes. Let's see if two of them suddenly appear right next to each other and not, or if it's twice as big as the uh, as the other ones. <laughs> Edmund's constructing a turret. Constructing a turret. Didn't know we had a third. Yeah, so they both got credit for making this. Wait a minute. Am I seeing two heads? <laughs> okay, that is a pretty wild snowman. <laughs> okay, I've seen my first alien snowman. Boy, I'm glad I got that recorded. Yeah, okay. Building a turret. So we got our third one and we're starting to... No, I have construction. Oh, a turret. Wait, wait, missile launcher. Missile launcher turret versus machine gun turret. Oh, okay. Or even a laser turret. We have three kinds of turrets. I see how it's working. Okay. <clears throat> So Edmund and Carter, Carter never went to bed. Carter, right there, his rest is nothing. And if we do get that attack, I want him rested up. So Carter, why don't you, uh, next thing after you finish that one, go, go, go to sleep. Yeah, everything else is doing pretty good. Edmund can finish the traps. Though Carter had a few of them already uh, queued up. So when he's done with that, then he'll leave. Okay, so what else is going on? Kana is going to continue working on the armor. And... Boy, there's a lot of thumping. <laughs> Thumps when they finish something. And let's see. Rita is transporting on her own. What are we calling for? She Oh, she's pulling concrete out of there. Um, we're not really calling for anything. What do we need? Really could use more alloy. We don't have any more uh, ore. Yeah... We do have scrap metal, and I'd say probably go ahead and use it. So, Simon, what are you up to right now? You double-click. There you are, transporting fuel. Oh, you're going to... Actually, I don't know what you're doing. <clears throat> Let's find out. This guy? Yep. No, you're full. You're transporting fuel to what? These haven't even been used yet. So what else takes fuel out here? Oh, you're building these guys. The incendiary traps. Okay. Yeah, we'll get a chance to see these two work. 
this uh, whenever this next attack hits. <clears throat> so what else is going on? Who may are? What are you up to? You are researching. Oh, ancient languages. We're almost done. Good. So as soon as this next attack is done, we'll send probably Edmund back out there to uh, that alien ship and see what comes of that. I'm guessing it's a research sort of thing, but it might uh, fill out our uh, breakthroughs or something a little more. I don't know. So incendiary traps are not done yet. Waiting for... No, we have alloy. We have all the stuff. We just need to get Edmund to build it, which he's probably... Nope, he wants fruitcake. Okay, you go do that. Rita, you are transporting fuel. Transporting fuel. You are emptying these guys. Ah, okay, good. So she's on transporting mode when she's not out here in the fields. <clears throat> I thought she was on research ancient language. Good. I thought she was on cooking afterward. Let's find out. That is activities. Yeah. Rita. Harvest. And there is no ranch and plant. Then you go to deliver. Then your first two is heal, handle, hunt, and cook. Okay. So I'd have to make that... No cute research. Yeah, I'd have to make that a... Actually, I didn't because that is... Umayar's next thing, right? He researches. <clears throat> now, does it go to this two? I would think it goes to this two over here. Which is... Cut and ranch. Ah, so his cook isn't. Now, down there, your cook is a three... Rita's is a five, and Rita is actually interested in it. Okay, so your handle should be a two. Now we'll make it a three. When we come back around again, you're there. Rita, I want you to be cooking after that. So how do I do that? I've got to make handle a three, not hunt. Yeah, and then that becomes your, your first two. Okay, that works. So Rita should start cooking. She's got the second best skill in cooking and she's interested which means she gets a bonus for doing it all right so Edmund is going to go cut some stuff Rita is transporting the incendiary traps are in we get to hopefully see how those work I'm not going to spend any more materials on more weapons yet we'll wait till after this attack comes to see uh, how that worked out and you're already melting away yeah we are where are we? 43 degrees, so well above freezing. So a rather warm winter this time. Interesting. Does that allow anything to continue growing? Are we more than 2%? I think, well, we were 2% last time or 3? Yeah, either way, it hasn't moved much. Um, anything else? These guys have been... These are gone. Too cold for sewing. Okay. And you were working in these, so that's interesting. Like they finally all died off. Huh. How's our wedding chapel area that we'll probably never get to use? <laughs> yeah. Um, I wonder if we could surround this with trees. Housing. I'm just kind of killing time, waiting to see if we get an attack. Uh, trees. Let's go with evergreens, sure. But you guys across the whole back. We have a max. Um, okay, we'll do that. We'll do it again. You extend there. There we go. So that, yep, that looks pretty good. Be a nice backdrop. What were these now? Are these regular trees? These are broadleaf trees. So we'll see who's taller. I'm thinking the conifers are. Yeah, so we get to see these peaks over the tops of these guys. Yeah, I think it'll look good. All right, well, that was a whole day gone. We did get the last of our construction done over here. And I'd say next is probably transferring as many of these guys over as possible. But, oh, there's got to be malfunctioning ceiling lamp. We are out of that. Okay, that's what I was going to have Simon do. Simon, what was Simon doing when I suggested that? He's transporting right now. So he needs to go to bed tomorrow. I need to set uh, priorities for him to go and make a bunch of these. Now, if I wanted him to do that anyway, how would I? 
make from scrap metal until we have 20. Hmm. So that's the first one until we have 50. Yeah, we could do that. And let's move that. Actually, from ore should be first. And then this guy is next. And when that's all done, we go back to making more concrete. Until we have 200. We have stone. We have... Yeah, we have plenty of stone. And then bricks. So let's move bricks up. We have lots of hay. Let's get bricks going too. So that we can brick these pathways. These, these fences. Around here and maybe eventually the entire property. So I guess brick is going to be the next big thing. Should we make another bank of ovens to do that? I wonder. Um, you are... Logs, okay. That's, okay, they're right here. So if we were to set up a bunch of furnaces right through here. What's a furnace take to build? Uh, production furnace. Sticks and stone. We've got it. Tell you what, let's do that. This will be the brick furnaces. Yeah, I like that. Oops, got to hold that shift button down. Copy. All right, so yeah. We'll make brick out of here. We're storing the hay over there to make it with. Okay. Uh, Umayar reached physical too. What's he up to? You are cutting. Okay, yeah, that works. Edmund is transporting. So that's right, I did. We queued this up at the end of last time because we were really low on sticks. That's right. Uh, so this, yeah, that'll give Carter and Edmund something to build. Otherwise, we've got this guy going on. What else do we need there? Probably, oh, just a little bit of, yeah, these four right here. And one more for the ceiling lamp that just malfunctioned right there. Okay. Yeah, so they're, they're sitting in the dark right now. Hmm. You know, if someone could just go and throw this breaker, it would at least stop arcing. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess they don't quite think of it that way. Hear the crackle of the fire. At least I can. So, research. Is there anything else we want to dive into next? Hydroponic racks. Let's play with that and see what that's all about. And let's pull up electric smelting just to see what the difference is between the two. Um, <clears throat> carbon force field barriers. We'll set that in there. I don't know we'd ever use... Oh, 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 boom, yeah. Right click, right click, right click, okay. Improved pulse rifles. That needs to get into the uh, into our arsenal here real soon. Okay, so with that, we'll throw that back in, we'll throw that back in, and we'll think about, yeah, we'll throw it in there. I don't know that we'll get to it by then. And we are one in the morning, Carter did go to bed so he's yeah he's he's got a yeah his rest is maxed out already so he's he's gonna be a night owl for a while okay that was one funny snowman <laughs> okay so that means Carter's probably going to boy it looked like it, the game just paused where'd Carter go he's out here thinking about his life yeah. So, Carter, why don't you uh, go and build some of these? Thank you. That'll give us something to, to look at while we're, while we're waiting the night through. So, if we get an alert here real soon, we will at least have a guaranteed daytime attack, finally. Last three attacks have been in the dark. Or one of them waited till the sun just started to rise by the time they got down there and, and uh, made their attack. Oh, it's got to be nice. You can do the work from up here. Yeah. Cool. And first one goes in. And we'll set this one up. Then we'll mirror the other ones to this one. So we want these to just bake bricks all the time until 200. Okay, and that's all you're going to do. I guess metal alloys from scrap is the default. 
you go away. We're just going to do that. And we'll go ahead and pull that out of this one. So this is no longer brick making. Which means all of these should now be missing it because they're all mirroring this one. So we'll do the same thing over here. These are the brick ovens. You mirror this one. You mirror this one. And... You mirror this one. Okay. So this one and these are copying it. Perfect. Until we have 200, we have 179. We could actually start building some of these. Except I don't know what it will do half built. Yeah, if it's just a blueprint of bricks, even though it is, you know, reconstructing, does it still have the integrity of the wood? Or is there any kind of a loophole there? I don't know. So I'm going to wait till the attack is done before I start to alter anything. Power-wise, how are we doing? Um, middle of the night, we are almost maxed out. We're doing really well. Okay. Anything we want to add? Uh, Temperature-wise, how are we doing? We're, we're in the winter. 60 degrees indoors around the fireplace. Hallway has its own fireplace. It's maintaining upper 50s. Well, we're actually getting a little cool down over here. Mid 40s. That far away from the fireplace. Bedrooms are around 40. Which is pretty cold, except they're sleeping in their armor, so no biggie for them. So as long as Umayar stays, his bedroom stays warmer than 8, he's fine. So in that case, it's not that big a deal, 44. So I'm wondering if we need to put in electric heaters at all, but there doesn't seem to be any need for something like that. What else is there power-wise to think about? Low battery sensor, we we're using that already. A power switch, when on, turns on devices in the active. So it's basically the same thing as the sensor switch, except it's switched by finding enemies nearby. But, Dawn, starting to. One big bright star right over there. So this guy, a power cell generator. We can't even get power cells to make guns with. Diesel generator. We've got one. What's it take to build it? Scrap and liquid fuel. In an emergency, it might be nice to have already added another one to the system. You know, that's probably a wise thing to do. Let's get that one constructed. We have the scrap and the fuel. Um, we need to consider... Yeah, Simon's doing this on his own. If I leave them alone, I wonder if they'll get two all of these fireplaces, all of these barrels, and just do their own thing. If I hadn't turned Umayar's research back on, he might have jumped in there too. Edmund is finishing up the cutting, which is, oh, I was going to say which is interesting because we have these, but we don't. Uh, Carter took care of that, so that's why he's out here cutting. We, what am I hearing? Bunch of thunder. So I guess we have one more big th snowstorm coming in. Okay. Um, so we're going to be getting cold again. Now well, we're warming up right now. Um, so Carter's constructing. Paulette is grabbing meat from the drying rack to go and make some meat pies. Okay. Kana is getting that to eat. Rita, where are you? You are transporting stone. Oh, we had cleared some boulders out over here. So you're in transport mode. What does that mean? Instead of cooking, um, there's the snowfall. So activities, Rita. So your ones are done. Deliver is still a one for Rita. Ah. So how are we doing on food? Do we really need her to get working? Now come on, stay there so I can sit back and do my thinking pose. Quick meals, five. And that is it. Yeah, we really could use that, that extra boost. Okay, so Rita is a two for deliver. The music just turned off when I click that. What was that all about? Um, that makes boom, boom, boom cooking her first two after healing. 
Okay. And when she's done with cooking, then she'll drop into delivering. Okay. She'll never be done with cooking. But I can get two stoves running. Well, she could be. If this stove is making coffee and that one is being used to make something, then there's no cooking left to do, if you think of it that way. So research ancient language. We have enough data from the crashed alien ship to study their language. Okay. And common cold is Simon. Yeah, he's he's got a cold right now. And common cold is Simon. <laughs> um... Uh, these sicknesses do not require treatment. I was just wondering why it's showing me some antibiotics down there. Mild diseases go away in time, but they could progress into more serious conditions. So antibiotics is a must to have. But Simon is not... Double click, there you are, needing the antibiotics. Or he would be waiting in his bedroom right now. So you are transporting oh, leftovers from the ship? No, that's three. Is that still out here after all that time? That was meant for a trap a long time ago. And we are still not getting any messages about an attack. I was hoping to get that done today so I can send, you know, spend some time between episodes resetting, repositioning all of these traps into all of these voids through here. Yeah, maybe let it run for a little bit and save you guys having to... Uh, watch all of that. So Carter went over here to scavenge instead of here. Why is that turned off? There was must have been a time at some point when that was important and I did it. I don't remember. Uh, let's get you just to here and then we will have you... What am I seeing there? Uh, we're just about out of a lot of stuff. So pants, I know we have them in stock, otherwise Rita would be working on them right now. They're all set until 2. Um, but otherwise you are in decent shape. Decent enough <clears throat> to walk a little quicker. There you go. To salvage space debris. And if you get more scrap, you can bring it and the scrap in with you at the same time. And save a trip. Okay, Simon is transporting wood. Simon, why don't you come over here instead? So you're not going to do it on your own, because there's still... Well, there's still a lot of transporting to do, and this is a way to get the transporting in. Just ignore it, and they will find it on their own, rather than have to go figure it all out. But I really want this done. Umayar is busy. Kana is busy. Edmund is cutting, and he'll eventually be scavenging. Same with Carter. Cooking, cooking. It's just Simon. Okay, so Simon, I want you instead to smelt scrap metal and just, or not. Oh, that is the first time we've ever had anything except the other, uh, the other three that we've had. First time for flying bugs to attack us. Where are they at? They're out over here and none of us are. The Carter is out in this area. They are pretty much going to hover over here. And there's not a whole lot we can do to go out there and kind of thin the herd. If you, you know, it, um, They're going to take quite a bit of acid spit damage if they go out here and, and uh, aggro them. So I think we'll just wait for this one to happen at 8 p.m. tonight. 6 p.m.? Boy, it's been a while since I've played this. I've been enjoying Mountain Core. Was it 6 hours or 8 hours? It was 6 hours. So 6 p.m. I think that's right. <laughs> okay, then Carter, you can stay where you are because I was working on Simon. That's what I was doing. Yeah, you get done with that, then you go get a meal, and it'll be just about time to to get ready for the attack, which is everybody run out the back door this time. Yeah, should we have a covered walkway to here? Ooh kind of like that idea. Um, let's finish Simon, then we'll think about that. But I want to leave a pause for a moment while I'm thinking. Uh, Simon is also going to need food soon. Let's get that done. So you're handling one. I never got to the second one. So Simon likes meat pie. When you're done with that, go eat a meat pie. 
and then come over here and alloy from scrap. And by then it should be time for the attack. Okay, so that is Simon's task. Let's let this thing run. We're on only speed one, so we got time. We could put, we'd have to put something like this in to get a covered walkway from here out. I'm curious, will it let me do that? So, I almost have to delete this and then stare off in each direction. Put a three walkway all the way across with stairs occasionally here and there. I think it's how I'd have to do it. Let's have him. Who's the nearest one? Is there an Edmund around? Uh, you probably went off that way, didn't you? You're getting something to eat, so you are on your way back. Okay, so you can deconstruct. And once that's done, I'm going to try running a walkway through, put a roof over it, so they can run from here to there under cover. I like the idea. If I was there, I would probably propose it. So... <laughs> So 6 p.m., 1800. So Edmund, you're going to do that, and then when you're done, you're going to deconstruct the stairs. So Carter is over here. He's halfway done. Plenty of time. They're just hovering. <clears throat> so they're aggressive, not hungry. So they're not going to run over or fly over and take this guy out or anything. Yeah. I think I'm hearing wind, but it might be the sound of the wings. Yeah, I think that's their wings. That's a little creepy. Okay, Edmund. You're here. All right, deconstruct them, and then don't go away. All right, you stay there. Oh, you're reading. Yeah, I'll let you. Okay, so housing, floor, wood actually let's go with the other one though i don't know if they've changed that it felt weird that it was free no no cost for housing <clears throat> floor so this costs three per this costs ah they fixed it now it's three per just like the other one okay though i think it'd be less this is you know a solid structure this is hollow you think it'd be two Hmm. But let's do it anyway. I want to see what it looks like. So if we took this in... Uh, we can't get past the power pole? Uh, wooden door is obstructed. Why is it doing that? I don't know. Strange. Let's do it in sections. Housing. Floor. Mm, plank. So if I went from here to here, okay, it took that. Let's pull out and do it again. Um, first of all, roof. What's the roof look like at this point? It, it might let me tie in. We'll see how that works. Uh, Unroof and housing and floor and this guy. So if I tie into here, and keep going. Okay, it's gonna let me do it this time. Okay, so what happened there and why? Oh, uh, okay, that didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. And they don't connect. Okay, so let's try that again. Let's grab U and X. Okay, so U, copy. Get out of the balloon. Okay, I'm kind of confused here. It does not want to attach. It wants to go off by... So, X goes down... No, Z goes down. It does not want... Oh, it's probably because it... The elevation changed. Boy, that's not a good angle to see this from. It must be... The ground must have raised a little bit. Hmm... So if I grab three from over here, let's see what happens. Housing, floor, plank. Yeah, we're at a different level. Oh, that's frustrating. Hmm. If I did... Hmm. I was going to say if I did that and then stared it. Yeah. 
it's... Oh, wait a minute. It actually interacted. Ooh. Can I do that? Now that's really interesting. Look at that. I bet it won't let me roof it, though, will it? Well, let's find out. Housing. Roof. Wood. And let's turn it this way. So there. Yeah, it's freaking out on me. <laughs> let's roof from this direction. Um, housing. Roof. Wood. Okay, right there. How far can I go? We can get at least to here. Okay. Maybe that's enough. And then I was thinking about coming off with stairs. I guess I can go ahead and let this thing run now. I got most of it done. Um, housing. Stairs. Plank. And we're going this direction. So you can drop off there. And... Will not let me go there. So if I grab over here, I can do that. Okay, that works. So I wish I could see it better. Yeah, it kind of works. Okay, we're there. And then we're transitioning up onto there. So if we were to drop off there... Oh, I just realized something. I had intentionally not built anything to attach to this two hours left so that if they make it through the traps they can't climb up hmm well I think I'm committed now give me a copy of this guy and put him right there I want to see the structure build that looks like fun okay and we just won't uh, can I roof off of wood right there just to make a little porch roof so that's there right there it would let me get as far as here hmm let's just go with the porch roof for now right there okay let's build all that and see what will be yet it doesn't say we're insufficient any wood so apparently that's all, all already in stock so the attack comes into in one and a half hours roughly okay Rita is roof off she is cooking who needs a meal fullness Carter 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 you aren't still out there are you you're transporting oh you found an electronic okay uh, CPU core is that what that symbol is I think it is uh, electronics right there that's a CPU core okay I'm gonna have you drop it and just come up and get something to eat Carter likes bread why is it so dark in here I was about to s no there's a light right there I was about to say that uh, the sensors because of the attack shut down our power inside but that's not the case when we are is still researching so that's still working. Oh, I guess I'm just far enough away that that's just the way it looked to me. Get in here and, and it's uh, it's lit up. Just this guy out right here makes a big difference. We have no alloy, so we're not going to be able to fix it. Okay, I was saying something. Carter likes bread. Let's get him over here and not eat bread. Okay. Any bread over... We had two people cooking. Uh, right there. And we couldn't pull off bread. Hmm... Okay, well, Carter's happiness is decent. Let's just get him some meat soup. All right, so Carter, you do that right now. That will cancel your carry command. All right, so Paulette, you are transporting. Paulette, there you are. You are carrying food over. When you're done, you're going to eat some of that. So eat some. I have to wait for you to drop it. Okay, in the meantime, Rita is in better shape so she is let's have Rita hmm there's no berries left are there there is there is right here is just 10 let's have her eat those 10 so Rita why don't you stop what you're doing and do that okay Simon is handling 
that's his last handling task and he's already in decent shape uh, Edmund is in decent shape and where is he right now he is constructing stairs Kana is she could use a meal she likes vegetable things she is transporting tailoring transport is after uh, come on over here and grab a veggie soup and still waiting for Paulette to get there with her thing which I'd say Omiar also needs okay so Paulette as soon as you drop that off there you go now you eat a fruitcake and Omiar can you also? You can. You eat a fruitcake. Okay, so that gets everybody something to eat. We still have an hour and a half before the attack. They're probably going to come in quite fast. So there's 1,700. This is where if we had that roof, it would sure be helpful. Now, oh, here's something I didn't think of. Now, we are kind of in range. Okay, I just worried that this guy had a smaller radius. We're think I'm thinking about triggering when they come into here. But if they fly in from over here and start attacking us, we're in trouble. Huh. Okay, well, learn something. We do need another sensor over here. So, is that defense? Siren, motion sensor. So we probably do need one in this, this area. Obstructed by... Let's go over here. No, I can't. I can go there? I think I can. Okay, you're going there. And... I don't see why we can't let you build. Okay. Then we'll... Oh. But if I do it a different way... If I click you and cancel... Click you... Oh! Almost had you! There. And copy. I think it'll come over here with all the same settings. So it will turn on and turn off circuits 3 and 4, just like the others. We're 17, and we've been there for a little while. That's probably as far as I dare go. What was that noise? Oh, we're running. I thought I had paused it. Okay, so Edmund is constructing the stairs. Eating, eating. It's Edmund Simon is handling. He is... He's going to have to wait on that last one. It's time for him to go. So Edmund, you're going to draft and get over here. Eating, eating, eating. Everybody else but Edmund is eating. And Edmund's going to be here anyway. So he can continue. Simon, you're going over there. And I need everyone else to... Okay, who just finished? Rita did. Okay, so Rita, draft, come on over. And Paulette, eight, draft, come on over. So, Kana, Carter, Umiar, yeah, draft in here, and Kana, draft in here, and Edmund, you are building, we haven't got the alert yet, Carter, you're the last one, but I think they can cover you, there was a big thump, oh, Edmund built something, <laughs> he built a thing, okay, so you're heading, oh, they can just jump up, so that never was a barrier, there was no ladder at all. She just she just jumped into there. Okay. Well, there's the attack. Carter, you. Repairing ceiling light. Oh, we got our first alloy finished right there. The furnace just finished. Draft and come on in. Now, how do we want to place these guys? I don't know how to do this one. I know we need someone to shoot down the length to protect these guys, but none of these care where they at. Right there. So, if I were to... Highlight all of you. What can I do with you guys? Humming flies. I can hit hunt. Which means they would automatically drop into butcher, wouldn't it? Don't know if that's an advantage or not. Anyway, and that's new music. I've never heard this song before. When I turned the game on, it scared me. It stopped and it acted like it was installing itself, like somehow I had uninstalled, and I got thinking, oh man, I didn't lose my save file, did I? So Rita's here, and so maybe there is quite a big update that came down recently. Simon, you... Okay, our big guns are Rita, Carter, Simon, Edmund, 
Umiar. So everyone but Kana and Rita. So Kana, I want you with Rita. Uh, Paulette, let's leave you in the middle. Umiar, let's put you down to... No, let's just group you guys up. Let's leave you grouped. I think so. Spreading them out may be a disadvantage here. Edmund, let's uh, let's join the party here. Come on in. Up up here. Carter, you are on your way. Yep, you're over here too. Okay, here they come. Um, these guys are going to have to wait till they trigger automatically. That's kind of a disadvantage. So let's pull that up. So they've got to get within that range. Ooh, well, the very first one. Boom, boom, boom. We're shooting. We're not in this range yet. Let's get into a better position. But I want to see the system fire up and, and watch how that works. Can Do we have any kind of lighting here? It'd be this guy and this guy that'll turn off. We have a computer display. Okay. So we'll see. Can I get... Not really. There. Get that into... No. No. Can't see the rest. And now I can barely see the computer display. Oh well, guess I'm not going to be able to see it all at the same time. But I do want that on. So that we can see the the uh, sphere of influence here. So who's flying in? Now that right there. Oh, it's hard to manipulate this camera. Nope, he's not in range yet. So these guys are going to suddenly turn on when we get into range. Alright, we get overwhelmed here. Boom, boom, boom. There. It turned on. The lights turned on. The guns turned on. I can get rid of this guy so we can see more of the screen. And for that matter, let's... Not the roofs. Well, let's turn the roofs on. Sure. And turn all of these off. And let's get a little different view this time. Right there. We're going to get a good contrast. That's probably it right there. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. So, Injury Rita. These guys are spitting um, acid at us. So, they can still come in from a side here. But we made short order of that. 25. Where's the rest of them? There's still 25 bugs left. Oh, they're still on their way. Ah, okay. Now, how long do these guys keep running? Oh, they turned off. Okay. Why are they hovering over here? I don't know. That's interesting. Now, they're just slowly making their way in. Okay. And we've got back into range again, so our... Oh, they, they snuck around this way, huh? Aha! Uh -huh. Four left, where are they at? There they are. Boom. And we're done. Huh! That was interesting. So we'll go ahead and release these guys. We can do that by just clicking on one of them and hold the shift down and hit undraft and everybody will break. We are only 8 in the evening, so I can get everybody to clean this mess up and I'll get that going and, and uh, be right back. Okay, so they are getting most of that done. Rita went to be healed. I had her heal herself and she got a little infection out of that so I ended up sending her to bed and have Paulette do it because she's much better at it. So Rita is out here without even being told to go and butcher humming flies because she's got uh, hunting in her in her uh, list of whatever whatever that's called. List of activities. That's what it is. So Simon is eating. Rita is going to sleep. Carter is transporting a bunch. Edmund is still um, butchering. So is Umar. And I got to think about something while I was setting up all those butcher orders. I had said, boy, it's good that this time we're not going to have to fight a battle in the dark. We're going to be able to do it in the daytime. Yeah. 6 p.m. in the wintertime is dark. So that whole battle was gray like all the last ones have been. That would have been an inter interesting one with all their, the colors of those uh, hummingflies to have seen the whole thing in uh, you know sunset or you know daylight. 
Anyway, Carter is bringing a whole bunch of that in. Edmund's going to get something to eat. So I guess Carter is pretty much scheduled to grab all the rest of it. Yeah, must be it. Um, otherwise, they've gone to sleep. We've got a little bit more of the new deck and pathway up and running. It may or may not get used. They don't tend to use the ones out front, but I think it's going to look pretty good. And that's what counts. <laughs> um, did I miss any? Ah, there are still some that didn't get flagged to butcher. Okay. Well, we've got at least two, maybe three flagged to hunt. So, boy, the thunders crashing through the uh, through the sky. Um, so they'll come out automatically and finish the butchering and finish the hauling. So we've got this guy flagged to turn uh, to work on. There we go. So next time we get to see the missile launcher, act it wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe have two of those going. You know, I like that idea. Um, missile launcher took what? Took CPU cores. Okay. Though it took 50 metal alloy. That's a lot. Hmm. We're going to go through scrap metal really fast if we keep that up. Now, last time I had suggested that it might have sent a much bigger attack force against us once we had several of these bigger defense pieces of equipment up and going. And suddenly 40 humming flies, no scarabai, no little baby praying mantises, whatever those are called, but straight to the uh, to the overhead attacks. That kind of makes me feel like the game registered that we just did something different here. Yeah. So in between episodes, I, if I remember to, I'll grab all of those traps and mark them all, and that's going to commit probably Kana, Carter, and that could be just about any of them. That's just a transporting. Well, I think it's a carpenter, your construction transport. Anyway, we can get that done. Um, let's let this run for a little bit, uh, speed it up, and maybe get into early in the morning. Rita went to bed fairly early. She needs to eat. Her rest is almost done. We can send her out. That's the nighttime coloring. For some reason at night, it gets brighter. The way that the the light reflects on the snow or something like that. Uh, Rita, when you're done, you come and grab... There's no food. Wow. Okay. I guess we are not going to go take a, a trip. Well, I can have you cook, cook, cook. There's no eat. You can eat bush roots out of there. Or you can... Come on, give me the whole menu. There we are. Eat meat pie. Okay, so I'll have you do that next. And then, once you've done that, I could, and I like to set this, but I think I'll wait. I might, uh, I think it will toss aside your request to go eat. You're going to be up here soon anyway. Yeah, there you go. So now that you've got that going, we can send you to one place, and we can send Edmund to another. Do we, who do we want to send to this one? So, do we know anything more? The sight of it crashed alien ship. Hmm. Don't know if we need to haul or not. I think it, Edmund is higher in physical, and he's also higher in intellect. If I remember right, he was the re, a researcher at one time. So either of those I can see coming involved here. So if we send Rita elsewhere... It would be where? So none of these, because these take physical. Supercomputer, we're bringing some more of those. Just, how about just another weapon then? Yeah. So Rita can go here. And send. Oh, select. There we go. Send. Okay. So Rita's going to do that. We'll get Edmund set up to go to the other one. He doesn't need to eat. It'd be nice if we had some more meals, though. So, don't know what she actually pulled out of here to bring with her to eat. Um, the... Boom, boom. Military. She's going to military, which was only six hours away, so she'll be fine. Crash alien ship is eight hours. It would be... Um, yeah, don't do that. It oh, hitting too many buttons. It would be nice if Edmund could bring some meals with him. 
Well, that's interesting. She was cooking and now she's finishing. Okay. So Edmund doesn't need to eat. So she's dropped those in there. Let's send him off to the alien ship. Edmund. And send. Boom, boom. And now let's see if he will... Hmm. Let's have him do that immediately. Before someone else eats his other meals. So, draft, undraft. There you go. So you're going to grab those meals, whatever they were. That's what's different. I had it on two speed. Why are these guys running? All right, so you're going to take off to that one. And now Paulette is... Well, I think there's meals in the ovens, right? Let's see. Paulette, if I wanted to check... Eat fruit cake, yeah. So the others can grab meals right out of the ovens. So we still have meals for everybody else. And we've got two balloons taken off. And we'll see the results of that next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.